gaseous state of matter is the simplest of the three states to describe and understand. Early scientists performed careful experiments that allowed them to devise relatively simple mathematical equations to predict the behavior of gases. These equations became known as the gas laws. In this experiment, you will have the opportunity to simulate the work of Jacques Charles, one of the first scientists to study gases in a systematic fashion. Unfortunately, the experimental apparatus needed to, to study gases is not simple. Since gases have no fixed volume, any apparatus for their study must be completely sealed to prevent the gas from escaping. Often the study of gases requires changing either the volume or pressure of the gas, which is difficult to do with simple equipment without some of the gas escaping. To get around the experimental problems of studying gases, we will use a computer simulation for the experiment. A word of caution. The computer simulation does not do the experiment for you. You will be in control of the experiment. The computer will do exactly what you tell it to do, even if it is the wrong thing to do. After checking into the lab, go directly to the computer assigned to you by the lab instructor. Start the simulation by double-clicking on the gas laws shortcut icon. Proceed as indicated. Read the instructions as you need to and then proceed. The computer simulates a sample of gas that is confined in a special apparatus. A flask with a long neck is immersed in water. There is gas in the flask contained by a small plug of mercury in the neck. When the temperature of the water is changed, the confined gas changes its volume. You will vary the temperature and measure the volume at each temperature. The volume and the temperature are both read directly from the computer screen. On the left hand side of the screen is the simulated thermometer, which can be read to the nearest degree Celsius. Near the middle of the screen is the simulated volume scale, which can be read to the nearest tenth of a milliliter. Note that the volume reading is taken from the bottom of the simulated mercury plug because the gas is contained in the bottom where the flask is. To obtain a desired temperature, click on the appropriate temperature control near the center of the screen. Naturally, the temperature goes up as you heat and down as you cool the gas. When the temperature controls are turned off, the temperature drifts toward room temperature. The volume reading varies correspondingly. As a result, you will need to quickly read the two scales before they change significantly. Be patient while you learn to get volume and temperature readings at about the same instant. The right side of the screen displays a graph of the relationship between temperature and volume of your gas sample. After you have collected your data, leave the computer, move to your workstation, and do the calculations indicated on the report sheet. Pressure is kept constant in the Charles Law experiment. The pressure you will use in calculations will be written on the blackboard in the laboratory. The questions on the report sheet ask you to make conclusions about how your data changed from one measurement to the next. When making these conclusions, remember that you are using experimental values, that is, data. Experimental values always have the possibility of some random variation due to experimental uncertainty. Some of the questions require you to use the ideal gas equation. In the equation, P is the pressure, V is the volume, N is the number of moles, and T is the temperature of the gas in Kelvin. The constant R is called the universal gas constant. Pressure is commonly expressed in units of atmospheres, abbreviated ATM, and volume is expressed in units of liters, abbreviated L. This gives the following value for the universal gas constant. In the computer simulation, you will measure the volume in milliliters, so you will need to convert to liters. Also, you will measure the temperature in degrees C, so you will need to convert to Kelvin. The pressure will be constant in this experiment. The value of the pressure will be provided on the blackboard in the laboratory. In one question, you are asked to find the number of moles of gas. To do this, we rearrange the ideal gas equation to give. Your PV over T values should have been constant within experimental error, so the average PV over T value can be divided by R to give the number of moles. You should expect the number of moles of gas to be a very small number. One question asks you to find the mass of the gas. The mass is found by multiplying the number of moles by the molar mass of the gas. The molar mass of the gas is calculated from the formula of the gas using the atomic weights given in the periodic table. Be a good lab mate and leave the computer as soon as you have collected your data. 
Move to any vacant station and complete your calculations. You will be allowed to return to a computer if necessary.